This is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram and today's topic is about the real concept of minute of arc and what is actually the role of minute of arc uh, in the visual acuity, right? So first of all, let's have some concept, a brief concept about the minute of arc. For example, this is a round circle and you know very well that in the round circle there are 360 degrees, right? In the whole circle, in the whole round circle there is 60, 360 degree, right? And for example, I just leave the 359 degrees. I just leave 359. I just ignore, I just neglect 359 degree. I just picked one degree out of 360 degree, right? So I have one degree right now. Further, I just divide this one degree into 60 different parts like this, 60 different parts. So for example, these are 60 different parts, right? And out of these 60 parts, I just picked one more, right? One out of these 60. So this is called the one minute of arc, right? There is another concept that is one second of arc. For example, this is one minute of arc, right? And I divide, I further divide this one minute of arc into 60 more parts, right? And I picked one out of these 60, right? So this is called one second of arc. So this is actually the real concept of one minute of arc. And now we will learn that what is actually the role of this one minute of arc uh, in terms of the visual acuity. So you know very well that whenever I look uh, or I see uh, to any object, the light rays from that object, for example, I'm looking at this camera and uh, the light rays uh, are coming from top of the camera and bottom of the camera and are entering in, into my eyes, right? And the image of this camera will be captured on my retina like this, for example, this is an eyeball, right? This is cornea and this is an object I'm looking to, right? And the light rays from the top of the object and from the bottom of the object, right? It will enter into the eyeball, right? And it will make a clear image on the retina over here, right? The upside down image like this, right? So. The light rays are coming from the object, from the top of the object and from the bottom of the object and these light, uh, these light rays are crossing over and it, it will make an uh, upside down image right on the retina, right? And there will be, and it will make an angle on the nodal point of the eye. So this is an angle, right? What I'm saying? The light rays will make an image, will make an angle on the nodal point of the eyeball, right? So if I want to measure this angle, the value of this angle, the unit of this angle will be minute of arc. So for example, the minute of arc is actually the angle, sorry, the minute of arc is actually the unit of the angle. Which angle? The angle which are substanding by the light rays, right? And these light, light rays are making an angle, right? on the nodal point of the eye and the unit of that angle is called the minute of arc. Now, you know very well that the top letter on the Snellen chart is 6 by 60. The value of the top letter is 6 by 60. So, the numerator 6 means the distance between the patient and the Snellen chart, which is 6 meter, right? And this 60, the denominator, this 60 actually representing the comparison between the two persons, right? One normal person having normal visual acuity, 6 by 6, and the this one, having visual acuity is 6 by 60. So for example, if a patient is having visual acuity of 6 by 6, that normal person can read the top letter, this top letter, for example, this E is actually the top letter, right? So that person can read, the person having visual acuity 6 by 6 can read this top letter on the Snellen chart from 6 meter as well as from 60 meter, right? So 6 mean, the distance between the patient and the chart and 60 mean the normal person can read the same letter, the top letter on the Snellen chart from the 60 meter as well, right? And for example, what if the value is 6 by 36? So again, the, the numerator 6, the distance between the Snellen chart and the patient and this 36 mean, 36 mean uh, the patient having visual acuity 6 by 6 or the normal person can read these two lines right 660 and 636 this two line from the 36 meter right so now you know very well that these letters right 
the top letter or the second letter on the Snellen chart, uh, these letters, these optotypes makes uh, some angles on the nodal point of the eye. So for example, the, for example, this is E, the top letter on the Snellen chart and the value of this top letter is 6 by 60, right? So imagine that this optotype E is actually enveloped in a box like this and you can see this is this E has the five different components. This component number one, this component number two, component number three, these are in black for example, right? And these white, the fourth and the fifth, right? So every optotype on the Snellen chart, right, has five different components, right? So it means that one optotype on the Snellen chart has five different optotypes. So we conclude that one optotype has five different further components, right? So if you want to know that what is actually the value of minute of arc, the method is, for example, this is 6 by 60, the top letter on the Snellen chart, we will just shuffle the values, right? The numerator and the denominator. So the denominator, the denominator will be numerator and the numerator will be denominator like this. So let's solve. The value is 10, right? So this 10 is actually for the one component. It means that at 6 meter, what I'm saying at 6 meter, at 6 meter, one component of this optotype will make 10 minute of arc, the angle of 10 minute of arc, right? So we have five components. So it means 5 into 10, 5 into 10, it will be 50. So 10 means that out of five components, of one optotype out of five components, one component will make 10 minute of arc, the angle of 10 minute of arc at the nodal point, right? And we have five components. So five components will make 50 minute of arc, the angle of 50 minute of arc at the nodal point, but, but, but at six meter, at six meter. But if we go, if the same person will go at 60 meter, right, at 60 meter, then one component will make angle of one minute of arc at 60 meter and at 60 meter the whole optotype will make the angle of five minute of arc this is actually the real concept now let's have another example for example the second line on the Snellen chart the value is 6 by 36 right and you know this E has in second line E has E, e also have the five components one two three four and five right so the method is the same, we will shuffle, 36 will be now numerator and the 6 will be denominator. Let's solve, 6, 6, 6 into 36, it will be 6, right? So the value of one component is 6 at 6 meter, but at 6 meter, right? The value of 1 is 6, we have 5 components, so 5 into 6, it will be 5, 6. 30. So at 6 meter, I'm saying at 6 meter, one component will make 6 minute of arc at the nodal point and the whole optotype will make 30 minutes of arc at 6 meter. But if the patient will go at 36 meter, because we have 6 by 36, if the person will go at 36 meter, the one component will make one minute of arc, one minute of arc and at uh, the whole component, the whole, sorry, the whole optotype will make five minute of arc, the angle of five minute of arc at the nodal point. Another example, for example, six by 24, right? E has five components. So again, 24 over six, the answer is four. So four is for one component. We have five components, so four into five, it will be 20, right? So at 6 meter, one component will make 4 minute of arc and the whole optotype will make 20 minute of arc at 6 meter. But at 24 meter, the one component will make 1 minute of arc and the whole optotype will make 5 minute of arc. I hope this is clear. This is actually the real concept of minute of arc at 6 meter and at their respective 
distances.